But they don't click. Hey. But they don't click. Yeah. You know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> when I'm with my crew. RDG. When I'm in my renegade. Yeah. Never sucked his dick. But he paid for days. That's the goddess way. You the horse, so I drive the course. Trillionaire shit, bald headed bitch, fuck it. I'm rich, I mean, yeah. I'm so wealthy, yeah. Your pocket's so empty, yeah. Bitch, no sympathy. <laughs> I have my degrees. Temple, no resemble. To a goddess, that's the emblem. Y'all weak, y'all can seek the meek. There's levels to this shit. Trillionaire bitch. The weak don't belong. Pull up. The weak don't belong. Pull up. The weak don't belong. Pull up. The weak don't belong. Subscribe, but they don't click. They mad anonymous, a billionaire. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all know who it is. It's your girl. It's a great day for gratitude. It's your girl, Anonymous Touch. Touching a town near you was a must. Hey, how's everyone feeling today? Now, that was my track called Pull Up. And you can find that on SoundCloud. Feel me? At your girl, Anonymous Touch. Thank you for joining me tonight. We're here for round three. Round three. Hey, it's... The round is so... <laughs> I am a cornball. <laughs> We're here for round three of the Golden Gate Cypher. Make sure you share the live so all your friends can watch me. What? Thrive! Also, we got two popping artists tonight. Woohoo! I'm so excited! <laughs> Woo! And you know what it is? It's always... A great day for gratitude. If I didn't say that already, I want to make sure I say it now. Yes, I'm super excited for tonight. Let's get right into it. You feel me? We're not going to waste too much time. Okay, my first artist tonight is Blonde Dan. Blonde Dan from Alaska. It's cute. It's about to get a little chilly in here tonight. Let's get this together. Hey, Lena, the diva. Oh, we need to chat, sis. We definitely need to chat. I would. Hey, hey man, how are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, Anonymous Touch, for having me on. This is my very first time being on Instagram Live, so I don't even know how it entirely works. So, so yeah, bear it's with awful. me if I mess it up. <laughs> no, you're not messing it up. You're great. I'm super excited. Thank you for responding and coming out and taking the time um, to just join the live and facilitate what we came to do, which is for you to share your magic with the world. Give me one second here. I got a different setup tonight. It's all good. So I'm going to pull up a beat for you. Oof. An Let's make instrument. sure the volume's loud. I'm going to turn this up. The, vo the volume is going to be very loud. Trust me. Can you hear me okay? Is my Because I'm just using no. my iPhone. So it's no, I can hear you perfect. <clears throat> sorry about that it's all good <laughs> i disappeared for a second i was um let's see we're gonna um give me one second gonna go here all right, so I'm super excited. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right. It's kind of my first freestyle too. Like it's all good. Thing, so 
Uh, can you let me know? Make, laugh at me. Dave's men at large. I think he's gonna be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear the music? Yeah. A little bit. Let me see. Can you turn up a little louder? Okay. Yeah, I can hear that. I'm ready. You go. Start running in biking like you're an enlightened fossil fuel motor hater. Off to do your out like a biking sword out to just my player. Worst fear to cheer to the root beer. I'm the bear that acacia. An Alaskan marathon for the marathon. Get a motivation. Just in case you want to lay in bed all day. Get on Facebook. I'll make a fix with a book till you're took for motivation. The motive lately that I'm but wait, hold on. I think I can go a little bit more on that. Or if, if you want me to stop, I'll stop. Nah, you could have spit a cappella. I was letting you do your thing. Yeah, I was I'll spit a cappella. All right, let's your... see. I'll spit some. Let's see the rest of that. Give me thought. something a cappella real quick. Let me see what you got. All right. Uh, I kind of just got to grab it real quick. Grab it. Um. All right. All right. It's, uh, okay. Let's see here. Eat clean. Eat keto. I don't really care, though. Anything but the standard Amero canned food diet. Intermittent fasting. You should try it. I'm implying, but why in the fuck do I got to shout like Shia LaBeouf to get you to buy it? It's all in your mind. Look inside mine. It looks like I'm deciphering signs from the Mayans because the signs of the times are requiring you try to change your mindset. Like I've got mindset, like field of Vietnam mindsets ready to blow in time that negativity enters. Wine is for beginners. Coffee's for closers. Stop being a poser. I'm not being a hoser. I'm just saying when it comes to your problems, look a little bit closer because the way you see the problem is the problem. Hey. Well, are useless. Hey. Useless. Chainsaw that's toothless. But we use them to amuse us. When we're losing, we refuse to see the truth. But the truth is, if you use it, lose the excuses, choose to just do shit, even if you fail, it would be an improvement. That's all I got. <laughs> Yay! All right. Nice. So, thank you for your freestyle. Oh, give me one second. You need you. Okay. One moment, please. Sorry about that. I had a service interruption. I'm so sorry because I'm oh, using good. the phone. So the phone was like doing too much. Thank you for your patience. So this is we're doing something different this week since I got my setup nice today. Um, I'm gonna play the same beat that I just played for you. And I'm gonna do a little freestyle real quick. Nothing Ooh. too long. And then we'll move on with the with the good stuff. Okay. I still got you for some timing. Don't leave me yet. Because we definitely want to get to know you and all that. So one moment. Let me start the beat over. Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hey, Jelly. Hey. It's an anonymous touch. I'm coming through on a golden gate. Huh. I got the gates open. So you know, I got a flood on the way. Huh, I'm waiting for the come up. I'm waiting for the luck up. So you know, I'm just getting these bucks. I got my man, Blonde Dan, and we just here with the band. What up? You from Alaska. So you know it's really cold. Huh? 
I'm from the south, so you know it's from the pole. What up? <laughs> it's just yeah. Joking. yeah. It's not me for you. It's for you, my dear. I'm not here to freestyle. I'm just here to show my talents real wild. <laughs> just play with the beat. You know, I always lay the F and heat. I don't want to curse tonight. You never know. I might kill him with the verse with the ice. I make up my own words, by the way. Like the dictionary and I, we're not friends. Because oh, I'd be like, it. if it rhymes with my tongue, then I say it. I love so, it. So, Dan, when did you begin your music career? It's like in its infancy. It's like if it were a pre like a pregnancy, it's like just barely the sperm and the egg going together. Oh. So we're still got a long ways to go. But I, okay, I so you just started. I was a kid, and then I, I stopped for like 10 years. And then just like in tw 2018, I just kind of started getting back into it. Cool. That's pretty cool. So what genre, why did you choose rap? You know, it's funny. Uh, I used to walk around this little town in, uh, in in rural Arizona, and I like I would just listen to Tupac all the time. And I, I, it's funny because I really had no idea like the black community. I did not know like one black person. Like this was a town of, like five thousand people. And uh, my favorite Tupac song was "They Don't Give a Fuck About Us." And, yeah, uh, that's a fact. And that was what I would like. That was the song. And I just, uh, I don't know. And then I kind of went through all sorts of genres like Eminem, ICP. And, but mostly Tupac was my my main favorite. Nice. That's pretty, that's really interesting. So what's your goal with your music? I think uh, if I were to like be like a brand, if, the, if like Lil Dicky's comedic rapping, then I think, uh, I think like, motivational Tony Robbins style rap, just trying to be positive, you know? Nice. And... That's awesome. So this is has nothing to do with music. This is just a personal and transit question that I inspire to ask all people who come on the platform. What makes you smile? Oh, uh, that's a great question. Um, I try to have it be my default and I realize if I'm not smiling, like, Oh, you should smile, like smile training. I'm in sales. You should always be smiling. I don't know. I don't know why I do it. That's just, I feel like you should always wear a smile. If you're sucking in air, then you got something to be smiling about. Okay, that's cool. I like that. So you kind of answered this question for me a little bit, but I'm still going to ask you anyway. Um, so you said that the, the message behind your music is going to be motivational. So do you believe you're going to work on inspiring a positive music culture moving forward? Yeah, that's, yeah, and I still, at first I was trying to do only clean rap, and obviously tonight I'm not doing that, and so it's like I'm still kind of trying to find my way, you know? Right. <laughs> it's a long journey, but it's a beautiful one, and the destination is, there's so many destinations, actually, depending on what you choose to do, you know what I mean? I really appreciate you taking the time out. I know we talked already a little bit on the side. So at this part of the segment, what I usually do is have artists put down their promotion, let us know where we can find you at on Instagram. And obviously you'll be tagged to the post. So people know to go to your page and um, know how to find your music and things like that and let them know who you are and what you're repping. Oh, I appreciate that. So as of right now, I just have like Blonde Ann Music, my Instagram. That's it. I don't have any other platforms yet. And uh, we'll get there. But I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to share the live feed with you. And, and I love your bars. I love that song you were playing at the beginning, too. Oh, thank you. The pull-up song. That's one yeah. of my songs on SoundCloud. I'm going to go check that out. Yeah, definitely. If you look at um your your message, I probably sent you like a, it's a great day for gratitude. Come yeah. check my page. I probably yeah. sent that to you. Either it's my YouTube video, but if you go to my YouTube video, I got all my handles there. But either way, I sent two. I sent, like, thanks for sending me the follow. You know what I mean? And then you click that, yeah. and that will take you to the SoundCloud link. Awesome. I'm going to check that out. Yes. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. I really appreciate you taking the time out.
to showcase your talent and just even giving me the time of your day because we have busy lives, even though it's COVID-19. You know what I mean? You never know what's going on in 2020, right? Right, right. Well, much blessings and love to you, and thank you so much. Do I just yes. hit the X there in the corner to get off? Is that all you do? Yep, that's all you do. I got gotcha. you. Peace. All right, double thumbs up. Love you. See you. Peace, love. Hey, I just had blonde and rock the band. Yeehaw, partner. <laughs> no offense. I just, I like to be silly. Not because he's a country boy. He's from Alaska. I was expecting like a completely different accent, by the way, guys. So this part of the segment tonight. <laughs> life is. <laughs> Yo, life can be so ghetto sometimes. <laughs> okay, guys. So tonight, I'm hosting this Instagram Live. Duh. I'm hosting the Golden Gate Cypher out of the first Black-owned beauty. You are in time. The first Black-owned beauty supply store out of Reading, Pennsylvania called The Hair Come Up. Woo! You can catch me in a wig every day because you know i'm not a miss touch i never play i'm pretty and i'm brown and i love to slay on the back you know i'm killing them on the track don't let me get hype on the beat because you know i love rolling through the streets what up, baby i'm in the hair come up and red and pa because over here i get a new wig so i can slay because when i'm walking down penn street i make a left turn on fifth and you can find me right here with my sis the owner, the first black-owned beauty supply store out of Reading, Pennsylvania, Ty Shell. What you want? You want the E or the J? <laughs> e or the J? It's Ty Shell. They see your back of your head. Hello, everyone. Yes, let them know. So this beautiful hair supply store, if you're in Reading, Pennsylvania, you can definitely come check it out. It's off of Fifth and Penn next to the Ugly Oyster. And there's a tattoo shop. You feel me? So you guys know where to come. They got wigs. They got extension hair, braiding hair, cuticle stuff for manicures. They got brushes for your waves. They got glue. They got Beads for the babies. They got jewelry. They got all the hair products you need to keep your Afrocentric styles melanated, proud, and letting your soul glow. You feel me? Sis even got the raw African shea butter. It doesn't get more melanated than this. <laughs> <laughs> we are so proud and so happy to have a beautifully owned melanated beauty supply store here in Reading, Pennsylvania. Sorry, I'm picking up the chair. Um, and tonight, I just... I'm sitting here in the studio. I stopped everything for this live. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Um, so I'm really excited to be even in cahoots with this young lady. I've known her for 15 years. I believe I was like 12 or 13. I'm 28 now. I don't got time to do the math tonight, guys. And um, she has really elevated herself and grown and blossomed into an amazing, beautiful mother, wife, and business person. And I'm so happy and honored to be able to be able to do the Golden Gate Cypher tonight out of this store because who else is melanated and owns a beauty supply store in Reading? No one. <laughs> Should we do key song? Who can love you like me? Nobody. Who can get you all the weave tension? You can come to the hair, come up. Everybody. Everybody. It don't matter if you white, black, brown, or blue. We got a hair color, and you know it's true. <laughs> you feel me? We out here, baby. Reading, Pennsylvania. 17 South 5th Street. 17 South 5th Street is where you can find the hair come up, guys. Yes. So we're going to put on a song. Before we move along, hey, Dukes Forever, you trying to hop on the live? Is that what you're trying to tell me tonight? You ready to show some of your magic? You ready to show us some of your magic tonight? OK. 
because this freestyle right here was crazy. Right. I was driving doing this joint. Yeah, it's so hard to find a fucking beat. You know that shit with Jay shit. When Eminem used to rap on the track, but now it's just anonymous touch trapping. You know, here heavy rapping, killing every day when I come through. I say I got the machete on my back. I'm gonna kill in the trap. I find the sound like Slim Shady. Instead, I'm anonymous, the lady. The touch coming through, where well, you know it's just destruction. I'm mad, bitch. The lava shit, the lava bitch. I'm on Mars looking for the marks and the stars. What up? Kinda took the bar, took the stars. Nah, I think the way they fuck the leg. I fill them up every day. I'm longer than I train. 909, you know this bitch is just a vibe. 323, what they gonna do? Who said me? It's just anonymous touch. I'm the realest triple C, but nah, I never been a gangbanger. I saw a crazy, so you know I might be stranger. I don't like change, I like the paper anyway. I like to be rap, you know, I like to fuck the play. I like to kill them on the beat. Anonymous touch, yeah, I'm rolling with the heat. All right, I just tapped it into my ninth prime. I need a nice yeah, touch. So there I go. I just said it again. Anonymous touch. I'm coming with the fucking friend. No friend. I'm just all by myself. Rolling through the white people. Get the fuck out. Huh? I'm rolling through the white show. I get the white yo. You know, that shit the white people like. Huh? I got the great pussies anyway. These bitches know I'm mad. And I came through. And I prayed. I prayed. I prayed. Not on my back. It's just anonymous touch. You're just killing the truck. Okay, so we'll stop. Yeah, it's just a sober mind. I killed it this shit every time. Let me slow down, cause you know I might roll through the fucking town. Let me drive down to the bottom of the lake. This bitch is making me go crazy. I'm a hit. Feel me? I'm coming through. And I'm real, real lazy. Girl, Bill, so you know I'm just a lady. I mean, you know I keep my face. Yeah, you did. It's on SoundCloud. Anonymous touch, I'm moving with the snow. It's so popping, you know it's real shit. Anonymous touch, I'm moving like I got a big dick. Anyway, I don't pay. I come through and I slay. The niggas wanna be on my fucking back. Yeah, baby, but you know I kill the fucking track. The kids keep up, you know I'm staying on Jack. Woo! Stop playing with the dragon slayer. Anonymous touch, I'm the dragon prayer. I might upload to the SoundCloud so these bitches can know I'm real loud. No life jackets can be worn here. Anonymous touch, I'm the grizzly bear. <laughs> Okay, I'm no longer a grizzly. I'm a honeybee. I got all the honey while I was climbing up the water, you see? Because when I'm upstream, I got the fish in my palm. That means I got the dream like, hee haw, hee haw. <laughs> Woo. We need a collab. I, baby boy, I've been told you. What's up? You, you ready to hop on this live and hit me with some freestyles real quick? Oh, you want here, Buku? All right, great. I was wondering. All right. Let's go. Give me one second here. I got the whole production system tonight. Like, sis got it set up in here. Hold on. Right. They're not ready for this. They're not ready for this. One day I had Watt playing and this lady came in here. <laughs> 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 The director of vibes. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Yeah, when he's around, know that it's a vibe. Director of vibes. Keep it in a lot. Oh, chicka, 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 chicka. Wop, 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 wop. Whoa, I got my man Buku one on the one and twos. He came ready, so you know what he's going to yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you hear me clearly? Perfect. I love it. Right. Yeah, we clearly keep it clean, crisp. It's amazing. I love the background. I love the whole 
aura you got flowing. You came prepared. You got your headphones on, your microphone. Oh, yeah. This is Ooh, professional. Yeah. This ain't our first rodeo. Right. But this is my first time around. Yeah. I see. I see you riding. I see you riding. Riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Riding dirty. Make sure you share the live. Share the live with all your people so they can watch you thrive. And guys, when I go live, right, my friends anyone, know I'm live. Right, go ahead. Anyone who is on the live also, make sure you hit the hearts. Because when you hit the heart, it'll let people know that we're on the live right now and people can come watch Buku One. Do his yes. time. Hold on. Let me turn on this light. Okay. No problem. Let me see. While we wait for that. All right. All right. You ready to hit us with that freestyle real wild? Yeah, I just watched us saw the format. I'm like, okay, that's what we're doing. All right, what's we doing it? That's how we're doing it. That's how we're doing it. I'm not gonna lie. The the format is a little still, it got a lot of work because I'm up and coming. I got a lot to do. But we here, baby. That's life. We all we all are work in progress with a lot to do. Um to, in order for you to share the live, you gotta hit the arrow. That arrow will send the live to all the people in a message. Hit me with the ones and twos. Boom, 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 boom. It's on you, baby. I can't hear no beat. Oh, give me one second. <laughs> Darling. I got so excited. I was playing I was playing one of your performances. It's that's a it's a really old one there. <laughs> Little short locks. Yeah, I was just about to say that. That was like a seven years ago performance. I was digging At in least. the creek. At least. You ready for seven this? Yeah, yeah, man. You got something with it? I'm keeping it west, baby. Hold on. Hopefully YouTube doesn't do the little commercial. Can you hear it? Yeah. 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 Okay. So that's the intro. Mm -hmm. Chup, 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 chup. Buku one. I spit rhymes all the time. Dropping four balls, maybe drop another dime, drop another line, drop another ball, get your spiritual. This is my ritual, just so habitual. I do what I say, I mean what I say. I'm a graffiti writer, MC skateboarder every day. Flowing in a hundred. In a bowling alley, I'm bowling 300s, but it's like that. Send me energy, I send it right back. This is freestyle, live and direct, right and exact. Exact, exact, exact. In fact, it's cool. Listen what I say. I got my microphone set up, so I got my own delay. Lay, lay, lay. And I am my own DJ. I kick the freestyle, don't need to pay. But not to mention, you just need this. You need to pay attention so you understand this. this, 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 this. Clearly, words that I say communicate. Clearly, I enunciate my words like abracadabra. Tu puede hablo español es las palabras. And then I give it to you, Chubra. Yes, you know what I'm saying because you know it. Ooh, yeah. I had to jump in. He get me hyped. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Ready to win. I'm just a goddess looking so divine, melanated in my wine. You can fill your cup up. You can take a sip up. You feel me? I can't pronounce right. I'm just patient and Dominican in the sight. I get tongue tied, but I said, Oh my God, what's up? We trying to roll with the illest bars. What up? You from the bars. West. I'm on the east. So we tapping back in and we rolling through the streets. I say, kick and push, kick and push, kick it pushing. Come on, oh. DJ, keep it cooking. Keep it pushing. I keep it cooking. People wonder where he's from. People overlooking me for many years because you know I made it. They call Buku One. I'm the black underestimated kid. K-I-D when you see the hidden colors like Tariq Nasheed. Now I mean, feel these back and write in exact. I am the poor righteous teacher, white intelligent. In fact, kick the track is whack like that because I'm dural. My boy in the back, that's my son who did the mural. Aaron Budino, because you know we're gonna get this. His name is Human Fingers and he also plays the bass. Hey, 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 hey. 
in your face because you know I come to warn you. I'm in Walnut Creek, but I'm raised in Oakland, California, where I say, if you got a question, got the answer. My Panther Cup because my dad's a Black Panther. Panther. He's in the funk band called The Lumpin because you know when we do cool one, we always up to something. No fronting. No fronting. Yeah. Yes, no fronting, just cutting. I'm just cutting the line, just working on my rhyme so I can stay so divine. I'm like, every day I do a yoga split. I think the sun, because I'm really raw with it, raw with it. I'm not a raw, raw chick, though. I'm too goddess, too divine. Thank you, Buku One, for spitting so many heavy rhymes on the live. Woo, you got me hype. You got me hype. You got me hype. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah. It's been a minute since I freestyled. It's been fun. Woo! Hold on. That was awesome, bro. Yeah. You got me hyped. Like, the way that just went is what I'm manifesting moving forward. Like, that energy to be able to bounce back off of each other, to be yeah. really going in with the cypher. You know what I mean? Like, that's what, that's what it is. It's the cypher. And if you've been. You know, the era that I'm from in hip hop, uh, we freestyle, especially in West Coast, we freestyled a lot. And there was a lot of ciphers on the corners. So ciphers, like, you kind of got to jump in like double dutch. And when you jump in, the other person's got to be in tune enough to kind of finish his and jump out. So knowing that it'll come back around. Right. And so you got to just be in tune. So hopefully the ball don't drop, you know. Right. We don't let the ball drop. It's 23. We be shooting them three-pointers. You know what we do. It's no curry, baby. But I keep the shrimp all kosher, baby. So let's get to the good stuff because you know we got to get to know you, who you are, yes. what you about, what you repping, and everything. When did you begin your music career? Um, I began my music career as actually a tour manager and a manager in 1997. I recorded my first song in 94, but it was more for fun. Like it wasn't a career, it was just what I is a hip hop, I was b boy, I did graffiti, I skateboarded, and that. So I got into the, mu the hip hop actual career on the tour management business management side so from that in 97 98 i would tour manage and do merchandise for my big elders in exchange for opening okay so i would go out with ac alone and abstract rudy's cast from la project oh, wow. blow freestyle fellowship and so i would do that i would change my business i was exchange my business acumen for being able i drive tour manage to merch and that was kind of my way to get my music on it's like I will and do all the other business stuff that most artists don't want to do right. in exchange. It's give me 15 to 25 minutes. And so that kind of grew. And so, you know, that's how I got my name out. So I was initially doing it thinking I would do it just long enough till my career took off. And then I would just stop doing that. Right. But then what I realized as much as my MC awareness would grow, as far as people knowing who I was, my business awareness would grow even more. So I realized very early that if I just focus on, my primary being able to tour manage and book and manage and handle these artists, I'll always be able to have a stage because they'll take me around the world. Right. And so that's what I did. So I really came up on that side. Wow. That's amazing. 94. I was only two. I was walking in the street. Hey. <laughs> that's walking. when I graduated. You graduated wow. to, to walk and I graduated out of high school. Right. <laughs> you knew I was coming. So what made yeah. you choose, you know, hip hop out of all the music genres you could have went for? Well, I can't sing. <laughs> I eliminated about most of them. It, you know, it was just, you know, I'm, I'm a 70s baby. I grew, I'm born in 76. So coming of age, late 70s, early 80s, especially early 80s, all my cousins and uncles were into, you know, funk, soul, and then hip hop became the thing. So I grew up around listening to it, you know, trying to break dance and all that. Um, so it was just, it was, it was just aligned with what I was doing. It was aligned with the era that I was growing up in. It was what was hot in, in my area in Berkeley and Oakley. I mean, around the world, but like, you know, we as kids, we were watching Breaking and Beat Street, and you're seeing people break dancing on the corners and pop locking, and you know, it just that's just what it was in my household too. It was just you wow. know, so that's awesome. Because yeah. one thing I noticed, because you know, I've been following you for a while now, um, you play a lot of different music on your platform. And you bring up a lot of old school reggae that a lot of people aren't aware of. And I'm like, wow, he really knows how to dig in the crates. So I yeah, really I have, I, you I have that. some elders on that. Yeah. No, it's cool. Like my, I tell people like my, my, my musical trinity that I love the most is hip hop, reggae, and like 80s freestyle and electro, like Stevie B, Lee Sleeson, and Cold Jam. So all the 80s, that's why you see I wrote to I'm like 80s throwback, funk, soul, electro, 
reggae and then like my stuff so right. but I have, I have i have a lot of good elder folks around me who have been djing spinning reggae music since the early 90s so they've always laced me with mixtapes and then i started buying my own records and stuff like that and so i have i'm surrounded by uh people who've been spinning reggae and roots super deep for so long that they kind of i'm like the pod one you know so. right wow you are so amazing definitely a buku at what you do so what's your goal with your music i know you said You've been doing the tours, the business part, and things like that. You know, the merchandise is going very well. I have one of your amazing shirts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, right now, which is I'm in a, an interesting place in my life to where um, my music, my art, it's culture first. Like I'm not, I don't, I don't eat off my music. I don't eat off my my art as my focal point. Right. My business management, uh, I do lots of consulting and murals and stuff like that, but I'm just in a good place now to where I don't have to chase that dollar right now. Right. Which, you know, like for most of my life, I was in that spot. Right. So I just get to make music because I want to make music. Um, I paint the same way I paint pieces on the wall. Like I don't always get paid for that. Right. Uh, I do it because I need to do it. I get paid off spiritual cur currency and I do it for the culture and I do it for the elders. I'm trying to like bridge that gap, you know, it's like, like conscious commerce, you know, just like. Right. Just contribute my part, regardless right. of if someone asked me to, regardless of if I'm being paid to, regardless of if anybody specifically is listening, because I'm building an archive right now that hopefully later on, 10, 20, 30 years from now, this, will all, this body of work will be here. So, you know, I know like up and coming artists, you know, I'm, I'm like, a, always, I've always been up and coming artists, no matter how long I've been doing it. Right. I'm, I'm, call, I'm called the unheard seasoned vet. Right. But what, 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 what. what what we struggle with a lot of times is like, man, is anybody listening? Like we, we put out songs, we post on Instagram, we get 20, 30 likes, like, damn, we put our heart into a video we get like a hundred views. Right. And you're just like, damn, is anybody listening? And I just had to remember like, yo, I'm doing this because it brings me joy and it's nourishing right. me first and foremost. Right. So if I do it that way, then it doesn't matter who listens or how much they listen. And then eventually you relax and you start finding your tribe. Right. When, you, when you're too aggressive and you're too thirsty about it, you, you offend people, even the ones who may like you, but they may not be ready to hear you that moment. Right. And you're trying to shove it down their throat and stuff. Right. So. Wow. Do that's, it for self. That's very powerful what you said there um, about finding your tribe. Um, sometimes in life, we do de-elevate our vibrations because we have our eye focused on the big box, not noticing yep. there's so many little boxes inside of the big box. You know what I mean? And then you end up not finding your tribe. Um, I was so happy I, I found you, period. You know what I mean? Like when I see yeah, you, face, crazy. I was like, yo, this guy is so fucking dope. Like, where did he come from? You know? Um, what makes you smile, Buku? What makes me smile? Um, being of service is, is cool. Like right. using my arts to, to stoke people out. Like when someone sees a Buku piece and they're like, oh, it's like this shit is and then, you know, that makes me dope. You know, when I send you a shirt and you're like, man, yo, that's dope. You know, when I'm when I'm spending on my little my my weekend blends and there's seven people on it, but they're just like, yo, you playing my shit. Right. Like that makes me feel good. Um, creation makes me feel good. Being productive, like taking an idea that my inner child has and then utilizing what I've learned and developed to make it come to life. Like, you know, you look at my Instagram a year ago, I wasn't printing shirts. Right. <laughs> you know, like I wasn't DJing on, on an Instagram. Right. Um, you know, I wasn't even thinking about doing a documentary. So like Which just coming up with up. ideas. Yeah. So like, you know, just creation, being able to know that regardless of what person, place or thing are around you, if you have an idea and some ambition, you can figure that shit out and make something happen. And then, you know, one year, two years later, your idea is now a tangible thing that people know and maybe have been affected by right you know oh. so that's what makes me happy bowling strikes and when I, I like to bowl a lot <laughs> if i can so bowling strikes is, is cool too i like that a lot yeah i figured you love to bowl because you said you bowl 300 all the time well, I, not all the time but if you see my ring oh you it's a, a 300 ring i bowled my first 300 league uh last year Yay! yeah it has the name it has my name it has yeah, money. My daughter's name on it. Like, where's her? Where's her? Like that. It oh, says Deja 
That's and Buku, so yeah, yeah. That's so cute. I'm, ner I'm nerdy. I've, I've been bowling league for like 21 years. You know, it's us nerds that make the world go around. I don't. I of know course, I'm course, 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 the nerd course. because I come off a little ratchet sometimes, but I'm full nerd deep down inside. Hey, <laughs> I can tell you're a nerd because you're thorough. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that's you know, nerdy is the new sexy. To me, sexy hey! is like, oh, like when people try to be sexy, we're like, oh, that's cute. But like, what's really sexy is just authentic. You awkward, you. goofy, high. Oh, that's that's what it is. Yes, light it up, baby. <laughs> Yep. Yo, I'm so great. Um, you know, I always start off saying it's a great day for gratitude. So I know. I really mean that. Um, your music. What is your full message? Like, do you really believe? Well, the scenic ride. I really love that. I just want to give you a shout out to that. That album is Thank dope. You. Um, unfortunately, I don't have um iPhone, so I don't know how yeah. to like get it on my phone. You can I get it anywhere. Just Google it. It's on the whole album's on YouTube, Spotify. Oh. Okay. Everything. I thought it was only so, Apple. Yeah. No, nah, just Google it. It's everywhere. Okay. This distro kid. If you guys are independent music yeah. makers, get distro kid. It's the online distribution. You pay them a small fee and they get your product out to every digital stream. Oh. Every super easy. Yeah, so, so that means you can find his song on your Instagram story, your Facebook story. You type in yeah. Buku and he's there, baby. That's it. You Google Buku one, you'll find a lot of music, skateboarding, graffiti. There's a lot of stuff, especially on YouTube alone. You could just stay there and get it all. Right. Yes. So, you know, this part of this segment is for you to showcase your talent, not freestyling or anything, more of like whatever okay. projects you're currently working on, whatever music okay. you would like for us to hear. It's all on you. Would and you like me to perform done, or would you like me to play? It? Oh, you can perform it. I'm even better for me. Okay. And then after you're done, you let us know where to find you and everything like that. Okay. Okay, cool. This is a... Uh... One of my songs from a while back is called Watch Me Now. And this is my combination of hip hop and reggae. So it's kind of like the produced by a D DJ Kooch from Berlin, Germany. Yeah. Rebirth. 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 Unheard verbal laps around tracks with relevance springs forth before coming up. Omnipotence, a strong sense of diversified talents. Plus, tricks of the trade made me ready to engage. I entered the stage as who won on the other esoteric foundation and the mind state. Slowly but surely, true master progresses. Hey, yo, don't get it twisted. We're not slow, we're just thorough. Smoothing it out. Masterminding in the lab, preparing. Now it's time for action like Pepper Fab. You lost my squad autonomously. Gaining momentum, controlling the pendulum making sure it always swings too off benefit true optimist recycle all detriment heightening awareness elevate the happiness injecting more hypeness extract all the stress from your chest plate take a deep breath now prepare feeding hook cool. we tell them watch out you are the ultimate one. You are the ultimate one. You are the ultimate. And you are the ultimate. And you, and you, and you, and you. Aspiring big really silly to me, pathetic. You're trying to attract fans with no ultra magnetics, just a slew of gimmicks. And those loopsy old lyrics, straight up deficient in the art of rhetoric. But on the real, I can well upon the next man. Uh, to focus on the next jam, the next fan, the next hand to give back. Another notch on the map, another wall that's been rocked. Another hand gives soul claps. All of that is more important than an impotent rapper who can't get it up. <laughs> Ask Ish a uh, Mr. Mocha, they'll tell you, you know, one test the last off fighter. And if you don't know that, my friend, then your number is zero. These lyrics are sharp as a sword of sorrow. <laughs> now you know, you know my, name my name is Buku. One step beyond. You are the ultimate one. You are the ultimate one. Yeah, you are the ultimate one. And you are the ultimate man. And you are the ultimate. And you, and you, and you, and you. 
You buzz like your yeah, MCs. See some second toy story bores me. No need for sequel always with the lyrics that are artificial. You can't come with the truth, you're superficial. Not earnest. Champion sound, you can't compete. You're stuck like Mad Cobra on a dead end street. Incomplete sentences, get the consequences. Delivering the empty messages which are useless. The value only lasts as long as it's heard. Then fades away. Evaporate from the tip of the tongue to completely erase. Drifting off. Oh, oh, oh. To an unsolved place to be an unsolved mystery with no one on the case replaced by buku alias mr generous the sound is killer us dangerous and murder us think off his shots positive vibe a surplus shut up that's what it is. So let me give you an acapella. Cause the last boy got acapella. So I want people to hear the lyrics in case they don't. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No need for introducto. Let's go straight in. Waiting never no more. Time for some act like we got some act right. We the Jones and crew when the jam is packed tight. But even if it's crickets, we will still wreck it. Prepare it ahead of the time. Esoteric. Set it into blueprint to manifest timeless, fresh, ingenious by design. Soul verge on beats display the shine. Laser rays, we are, we all divine. Leo, type mind, Kevin Lows and Lighty. Gladwell, charnish scriptures that guide me. Faith but not blindly, led on a path. Clearly eyes wide, mean I need to crash. Funny man I am, but I need not laugh first. I laugh last from birth to hearse. Look, think twice before heeding what they say. Check their references. Peep the resume. If they ain't been to the promised land, tell them sorry. You're not qualified to give me directions. Think twice before heeding what they say. Check their references. Peep the resume. If you ain't been to the promised land, sorry. You're not qualified to give us directions. Somebody right. said to no. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this is for you. That's a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy round of applause. Right. Wow, that was a standing ovation. You really came and rocked the house. You blew my mind, number one. I'm so honored and grateful to be in the presence of so many amazing and great people, especially like yourself, a well-seasoned vet. And that beat you sent me? I you got something for that? I won't disappoint. All right. Instantly, All right. instantly the words came to mind. It's like you knew my soul was so divine. I was like, yeah, this is my brother from a long time. You feel me? They know who's back. It's insured. You feel me? It's insured. That's why they're trying to keep me low on the scores. You feel me? But it's okay. I'm going to keep fighting black every day, every way, because it's a panther on my feet. You know how we move in like Nike checks, light. With the heat. With the heat. With the heat, baby. I'm so honored heat. and blessed. Let us know where we could find you at. Okay. See, I finally got organized. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I have, you know, I have the, a podcast. I have my graffiti. I have music. I have DJing. I have merchandise. It was just, you know, too much. It was all over the place. And so my sister was like, yo, why don't you mess with this site called Linktree? Yeah, I've seen Link that. Linktree plugs everything into one organized site so and you can put that in your bio like i put if you go to my bio there's a link and you click on the link and it has podcast merchandise right. music videos graffiti and it's all right there and you can get any information you ever want to know about that about me um or you can just ask me too but i would go there first and then you probably have more specific questions but i'm around man we're just hanging out right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Buku. It was a pleasure hey. and an honor. Yeah, keep you doing your what? thing, man. You got so much energy, so Thank you got a lot you. of energy, which is Thank great. Thank you so much. I also want to tell you, because I know you really tapped in. You know, I've been going on to your followers and everything. Share the word with all your rapping friends. Um, I would love to have them, DJs, whoever they are. This platform is for all types of art, um, spiritual art, 
crafting art. If someone is wanting to draw while we play music in the back, I'm even down for that. No, okay. there's no limits here. This is a true platform for the artists. You feel me? That's what's up. I'm gonna send some people your way. You know, we got yes. we got some folks out here who love yes. to uh, who love to build, right. generate energy. So right. you know, I appreciate the opportunity. You know, right. we all need ways to uh, connect and and build through the wire because you know we're all kind of in our own little places we're sheltering in. So right. I appreciate it and appreciate all you guys are listening. Appreciate all of that. that, that, that yes, that. thank you, love, peace, and blessing. Yeah. abundance and wealth, protection to you, my love. Ashe, amen, Ra. Stay blissful. Yes. Let us continue. You, 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 you. Do what we do. All right. Be safe. Peace. Peace. Whoa. I wasn't ready for that. Blocka, blocka, blocka. Yo, but I came. I came tribal tonight. Did y'all even know I came tribal? I came. Doom. You doom, 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 doom. I came tribal tonight. With that being said, I ain't even going to go out playing one of my songs tonight. Y'all need to know the type of people who motivate queens like me. You feel me? Because it's time, baby. This is the, I told them that my revolution won't be televised. But they don't understand because they're still blind in their eyes. All right, we ain't talking about him. I ain't talking about that right now. That's a different topic. You feel me? Tap into your inner divineness. Get your meditation right, your spirit tight. We aligning, we taking over, baby. Anonymous touch. I ain't doing this for the money. I'm doing this for the generation, baby. The generation, the generation, the generation, the generation. With a S and a Z, feel me? Y'all know where I'm from. It's from a pyramid that y'all can't find. <laughs> but it's okay, I'm still a little Einstein. What up, baby? Where we from? Let them know where we coming from. This is sound for the great, baby. Let them know where we coming from. We're going, we going out like this tonight. Brr up. Running through my veins. What up? Ooh, the healing, baby. The birds and the bees. What? What? What about the birds and the bees? Ain't got nothing on. We goddesses out here. You feel me? Hey, this is a goddess gang. You heard? This is a real life movement. You feel me? I'm not talking about gang banging. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about that energy. Pick it up, baby. Pick up that energy. Hey, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. What y'all thought this was? Now y'all got me hyped. I beg you listen. Now I'm going to show y'all what it's really about. I beg you open your ears so you're able to not listen. Y'all know who I am talk. already. I'm I anonymous touch. So cool. The high priestess touching so the town nice. near you was a must. But it's not about me. In it's about we. It's about thee and all my people who's coming. Because y'all think this is a joke. Speed it up. Let them know. Y'all know what it is. It's my girls. Oh shoot! We really do this, baby. Hey, guess what? What I tell them? Prayed up, prayed up to my days up. What up every day? I thank God for the day. It's always a great day for gratitude. Facts like, um, 
I'm on a path. I'm in my God body, nigga, do the math. And I, I take a breath in the water. I know I am the daughter of the river of the moon. Blessed by Oshun. And pretty dude is coming soon. You can cut my shit on iTunes or get five news. I'm focused. Everything will manifest because I wrote it. Yo. Yo, they mad powerful. They said everything will manifest because I wrote it. I've been writing since I was in the womb. That's why I came out looking like a goon. But I'm a nerd. I used to get A's. And my mother used to say it could have been an A plus anyway. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Y'all need to know. This is my girl, Princess Nokia. If you rapping for the, for the vibe, I'm going to rock out with you. Ladio. Huh? Fuck the apes. 756. You thought I was later. Because I know the live's going to shut up soon. Yeah, like after one hour, it just cuts you out of here. So it don't even tell you it's about to cut you off. It just cuts off. It's so disrespectful. You feel me? Yeah. Right? We from the hood, baby. You feel me? But we out here in the world sharing prosperity like we are speaking a tongue, bitches. Hold on the phone. What? The stage at the door. Right. Make sure you sage in your home. Use the frankincense and mare. Whatever you use, keep your home clean, keep your spirit tight. My message tonight for everybody is there's so much going on in the world, so many things. You see, I came on my first live. I told y'all I lost my home in a fire. I haven't been working for months, okay? I don't even know how I've been able to maintain and prosper. But because I know I am prosperous and abundant and wealthy, healthy, everything just keeps manifesting. You feel me? Like my phone broke. There's always roadblocks that right. try to stop you right. from what you want to do, and that really means so much to you. Right. And things are gonna come always to make you feel like, what am I doing? Right. Why am I doing this? Like this is just too much, and it's not too much because. Look at your store. Exactly. What's for you is always gonna be for you. You right. really gotta just like where it's to the, the wise. mindset and the 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 I don't even know like it's just really time and patience for real for real. If it is, patience really is a virtue, and that's a fact. You know, like my phone broke this week, and I was like, "How am I gonna do this live?" And speaking of that, so guys. The Golden Gate Cypher after this week will only be held on Thursdays because sis is getting a little gig to make a little bit of money. You feel me? So I can pay for shit. You feel me? Sis got a lot of things coming for y'all, so I got to start paying. This is a business. I'm an entrepreneur. You feel me? So that means I got to dish out before I get the dishes. But you know what I mean? That's okay. That's part of the process. Exactly. We're not fiending. We none of that. We patient. We humble. We virtuous. We are abundant. We are everything. So after this week, the Golden Gate Cypher will only be held on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Tell all your rapper friends, tell all your singer friends, tell everybody who's strong right. Tell them if they want to meet me in the booth, they can meet me in the booth because shorties like me be the truth. What up? I speak languages on these hoes. You feel me? They don't even know. What up, baby? Speak languages. Uh, uh -huh. We going out with anonymous talk. Yeah, I'm insane. He loves to get me brain. Brought him to college. Now he PhD scholar. Took him on a rocket ship. The Milky Way dip. My galactic brain show you their game. Swabbing and say, come here, boy.
wrapped around my finger, not a toy. It's a sunny day on Sunday. I hit the sequestro, Ponce Traveso. I'm hot like fire. You can never fire me. I'm the chosen one. Trust me. Let us consort. You'll see. Untouchable. We shall be. Say, oh, man. Belfondus. Got the best shoes. Ruthless. Boss set. No set. Just the entourage. And they, oh, I got one minute left. They told me today. I got two minutes left. They just told me. Taking out the cart like Sammy Sosa, going right field, nine left field. Maniac McGee put my sneakers on, running freely. Read a book, flip the page, take a look. What do you see? I know it's me, anonymous touch. Yeah, you know, it's that. How does it feel? It's like a, a nice lesson, the high priest, the poppy. So, won't you share and most of my tracks were mixed and engineered by an uh, engineer called Rent Money Maddie. And my other track pull-up was engineered by Samad Dawson. So you can find them on my page. I definitely follow them if you're in the area of Pennsylvania and you're looking for people to mix.